Hello, dear colleagues. Welcome to this new lesson. Today, I'm going to present a listening lesson of the third year English program, Sequence 2, Me and Life Styles. The framework that I'm going to follow is PDP. Pre-listening, during or while listening, then post-listening. Uh, now, concerning the lesson of ED endings, since you know that uh, it has been uh, integrated as a new lesson in the second sequence, so you're going to present it as an integrated skill in the lesson that you want, okay? Uh, if you want to integrate it uh, after a listening lesson uh, or you want to integrate it after a grammar lesson, okay, after the past simple uh, tense with a go or the past simple tense alone, you are really free. The most important thing is that you have to present it as an integrated skill, not as a separate sub-skill, since we know that pronunciation is a sub-skill. Uh, so, the objective of my lesson, so by the end of the lesson, my pupils will be able to talk about the childhood memories and here I have integrated games, okay, with this lesson because they are really related. So, in the warm-up phase, uh, I have uh, posted recently a video uh, in which I uh, showed you how to, what can you present as interesting games in this phase. Uh, here, I have chosen uh, the game of uh, Guess the Picture and then you are free to uh, present the game that you wish. Of course, before any listening, you have to prepare your pupils for the listening phase. Here, uh, I'm going to work on an interesting like a flashcard that I'm going to share and post on my Facebook page. Uh, so here I am going to show my pupils this uh, list of childhood memories and I'm going to ask them, uh, of course, about their own childhood memories, which uh, games they used to play, uh, what did they used to do when they were like young, what did they used to, 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 to play, um, how did they used to play, uh, what was their favorite game, etc. So I'm going to show them this picture and I'm going to uh, try to enrich their vocabulary uh, in this phase. Okay, here in this phase you are free, of course, you can present a list of um, of, of games, okay, the, the, the old games like Hopscotch, Marbles, um, Hide and Seek, Ragdoll, and the, the modern game, okay, Xbox, and you're giving uh, video games, okay, and you're going to ask them to compare, you're really free, but I prefer the, the this picture because it's really exhaustive. Then you're, then you're going to tell them that they're going to listen uh, to um, a conversation between Jenny and her grandma Elizabeth talking about, uh, of course, asking her questions okay, about uh, the, the, her best childhood memories, uh, about the games that she used to play in the past or they used to play in the past and her best childhood uh, memories. Of course, you're going to provide your pupils uh, with the activities before you make them listen. Uh, concerning the listening, so these are the scripts, uh, they are available in the teacher's guide. So here I have, uh, I'm going to make them listen to um, the script of the games she used to play and the script of the childhood memories since they are related. Then I'm going to present my activities. Here, instead of like at each time presenting a true or false uh, activity, which, which could be like boring for my pupils, so I change a bit the activity, I change somehow the instruction. Uh, so here, you're not going to uh, tell me whether the statement is true or false, they're just identifying uh, the IDs or um, the, the statements they, they listened to in the script. So grandma used to play hopscotch, boys in the past didn't used to uh, play marbles. Uh, Jeannie is fond of video games and according to, to grandma we can learn a lot from books. So, the second activity they're going to ask answer questions. Of course here you have to present a question which is going to be a WH question and you present a, a yes or no question. Here my first question is what is grandma's best childhood memory? So try to make them speak before they, they, they write in this question, because it's very important to see whether your pupils have scanned the script mm -hmm. they listened to. And the second, uh, the second question is yes or no question. Uh, does uh, Jenny wear a uniform at school? Is it yes or no? Of course, now if you want to uh, add details, okay, what did she used to wear? Here you are free. 
but I prefer to not add this question. Why? Because my next activity is going to be uh, like a classification. Okay, uh, it's going to be a classification of some items in in the table. Here, I have presented uh, some items, uh, some some clothes items, and some games items, and I asked my pupils to classify them in the table. Grandma and Jenny. Got chess, ragdolls, blazer, hopscotch, hide and seek, uh, blows, gym slip, trousers, and scrabble. And I asked my pupils to uh, classify these items in the table according to what they have listened to. And my uh, last activity, of course, here in this phase, my pupils are going to like reinvest uh, prior knowledge. So in this phase, we, I am in the post listening phase. So my pupils have the necessary luggage uh, to produce something. When I say produce something, it's not like uh, it's not necessary to write a long paragraph or an essay or like uh, write in a dialogue. They have to produce at least the minimum. Okay, Don't expect too much from your pupils because we know we all know the level of our pupils. Okay, so we have to make them produce at least the minimum. Uh, so here I'm going to present again this flashcard, and I prefer to make photocopy so that my pupils are going to see. Uh, each picture okay and they're going to write for example here we have a question what did you used to do when you were uh, when you were a kid okay uh, here they're going to say when I was a kid I used to and they're going to choose here I introduced the, the semi-model used to so that I'm going to present it in the next lesson which is going to be a grammar lesson uh, I preferred to leave this uh, semi-model at the end uh, in order to not uh, like make them get confused because you know we have the past simple tense which is really like new for them and then we present past simple tense with a go to break the routine of, of the grammar lessons with the listening in order to be able to present a new uh, a new grammar lesson of course and are going to be are going to rely on the listenings they have dealt with so they are like they get familiar with this semi-model so they have like guessed the meaning and they, they have like understood uh, the, the, the context of this semi-model. So now I think that my pupils are going to be ready to assimilate the new rule of this semi-model lesson. So I'm going to ask my pupils to rely on this flashcard in order to uh, tell their friends okay, about their best childhood memories following the examples that I have mentioned, of course. Okay, I, I, they will like this, this, this activity. Uh, of course, the last activity should be motivating because if you ask your pupils to write like, now we have dealt with childhood memories, you talk about your favorite childhood memories, they will have no idea, they will have no idea to write about, believe me. So you just have to motivate them uh, by showing them flashcards, pictures, videos in order to uh, like uh, make them write something. Uh, that's all my dear followers. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share uh, all my videos. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.